Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. What's happening in your world today? Let me ask you a question. Otherwise, how could we get this dialogue going? Oh, there is no dialogue? Well, there is if you comment below, because it keeps whatever I'm talking about today alive. I appreciate it. I learn from it. I expand on it. And um, just enjoying the heck out of you guys. And I hope that you feel the same with what I what I bring to the podcast every day. I was listening to my um, messy Halloween Monday tape, and I I just did it again. I called it a tape um, instead of a video or a podcast. Yeah, I'm that generation, I guess. So anyway, are you a person that reads labels? Do you rely on the front of the box, the item? Or taking that puppy and flipping it over and seeing the fat, the carbs, the protein, and then even more what the ingredients are. Is this something that you rely on? If you're buying processed or boxes or bags or containers or things like that, please turn it over and read what's in it. If it has something that your grandmother wouldn't recognize don't purchase it that means it's a chemical most likely put into your food that you're going to put into your body and enhance whatever it is of the taste and yes if you go to wholesome regular parameter of the store foods even some of those things need to be read too some of those labels i used to love the green giant frozen um, veggies, the ones that you steam in the microwave. The size was perfect for just two of us, and I loved it. And one day I flipped it over, I think it was the peas, and it said, contains peas and baking soda. And I went, what? Baking soda? So I ended up buying the Stop and Shop, which is also known as Giant in some parts of the country, peas. Um, now I would buy the organic ones, mostly, um, sometimes I don't buy the organic ones because they aren't like available in the store at that moment or they're so outrageously priced that it's like I do a little pass. But all I buy is when it says for veggie ingredients, peas, ingredients, green beans. But I usually buy the Perry's, I think it is, organic bag of green beans. Um, that's what I usually am steaming in my instant pot to have with my meal. So, are you dependent on reading not only the, um, the, the label for the servings, but also the ingredients on the back of the package? Is that as important to you as it is to me? It's very important to me. And every now and then I get a hankering for something that I haven't had for a long, long time. And I'm very happy to see that Cabot Cheese is now not using rennet. I think that's how it's pronounced. And I think that's an unhealthy part of something um, that they use in cheeses. Um, I should look it up. I, I'm sorry. But um, they aren't using it. And it was one of those, like, carrageenan items that some people, some um, more pure food manufacturers were already doubting that they were still throwing in food and then all of a sudden doesn't Californian, I think that's what it is, almond milk now splash on the front of their container contains no carrageen, whereas it did before. <laughs> they weren't paying attention to us before, but enough people must have written in and said, you know what, this seaweed, this seaweed ain't, ain't all it's cracked up to be. It might not be as natural and as okay as you've been thinking where buying and slash drinking. So anyway, um, I love to read. I love to take the time. When I go to a grocery store, it's an adventure. And uh, there's nothing more exciting to me, I know, Sarah, get a life, will you, than to go to a new grocery store and find my way around. And even stop and shop here, there's like 10 of them on the Cape. And you can go to different stop and shops and find different different products. They must do demographics or something. And because um, I went to a more tonier um, town on the Cape and they had a much more expansive um, organic or natural 
um, section and um, mine is very very small um, we serve a population um, that eats um, different than perhaps somebody that's on a low-carb high-fat keto um, but the good part about that is there's tons and tons and tons of exotic vegetables that I don't even know how to cook, much less how to pronounce them. So that's good. Um, but the organic section is is very, very weak. So I'll go to another town if I want to see what's new um, in organic products that maybe I hadn't seen before. So it's always an adventure for me. And I do love turning those things over. Now, when I go with Greg, it's in and out. It's none of this, like, lolling about with a an item that I didn't know about. And so I try to pay real particular attention to what the ingredients are. And there can be a huge difference when you buy like a jarred um, pasta sauce or um, pasta, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Um, a jarred uh, spaghetti squash sauce or um, sausages. I like sausage. I admit I like sausage. And, um, and things like that or for me, tomato paste that goes in a couple of the dishes that I've started making this winter in the rotation, or um, uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, the um, pizza sauce that I use for my fathead pizza. So there is a huge difference. Sometimes there's um, more added sugar to one thing than another. And if you're not really paying attention, yeah, it might only be one gram per serving more sugar, um, in the item, but paying attention is important even if it's a simple item like um, pasta sauce, right? Or um, tomato paste or um, pizza sauce. There, there could be a difference and it just plays out, you know, and then a lot of people say there's sugar in bacon and I've never bought bacon that has sugar in it. So I don't know, maybe it's a different part of the country where they um, do things differently. Um, I'm a big Corando fan and there's no sugar in that and yes I know it's not uncured bacon but um, sometimes I find that the the uncured bacon has so much salt in it I feel like I'm floating away on one bacon strip so you know we learn as we go and we we cater sometimes to our taste buds and then other times we learn a new taste and we acquire the taste for it Case in point, Faye plain full-fat yogurt. Um, you know, as I've said in other tapes, getting used to that or getting used to coconut almond milk versus milk or um, even the heavy whipping cream that I put in my cup of coffee versus all the coffee mate that I used to, um, used to have that was non-negotiable. So there's an acquiring a taste and there's... Um, getting over a taste of like highly sugared, highly salted items. Now, I use um, pink Himalayan salt on my food. It has trace minerals. Somebody said, said it also has um, something that's a no-no, but oh well. Um, but I don't, I don't trust um, heavily salted food items that you can buy. I'd rather... Um, have a salt-free version where I add my own pink Himalayan. It's kind of like knowing the devil, right? And, you know, it's what we, we do what we can. Sometimes we spend a lot of time on an item or how we cook or how we eat, and then other times it's just business as usual, and I'm stressed, I'm hungry, it's late, I want to eat, bang, you know? There goes, there goes the lean cuisine in the, in the microwave. That's it. And so, you know, we're human. We, we do what we can do. Um, the important thing for me is the tracking, is the having the lemon water. It's the, it is the trying to pay attention when I go shopping and taking, making the time. Just like I make the time to put my food in my tracker, I make the time to dine with my lunch and not just my dinner because these things are important to me. And if I did a grab-and-go um, candy bar with a wig on it, also known as a protein bar or a fiber bar, and left the house and shoved it in while I was driving, guess what? My addict would say, you didn't have lunch. When are you going to eat? 
Whereas I know that I ate because I had it, you know what I mean? I'm conscious that I ate the protein bar, but maybe my full button doesn't get registered because my brain wants to trick me and say, you didn't have anything for lunch. You need to go have some lunch. So I have to be very, very careful. There's a lot of mind games that my food addict continues to play in my head. And why wouldn't it? I'm a food addict. I'm not going to wake up and it's going to be gone. I maintain my food addiction one day at a time, which happens to be today. Just for today, I'm maintaining my food addict. What does that mean? That means my food is tracked and measured and weighed and planned right through. From my first sip of the BPC, Bulletproof Coffee, at like 3 or 4 in the morning, all the way through to my dinner, which tonight is a grilled pork chop. I, I, I mean, not grilled. I um, pan fry it in coconut oil. And I'm having my cauliflower casserole, which is um, really, it, it would kind of macaroni and cheesy tasting. Oh, so good. And um, some green beans and broccoli, both organic and both steamed. And um, lunch is um, three and a half ounces of full fat faya yogurt with two tablespoons of different nut butters. Why? Because I can. So it's like a party when I have that little dish. <laughs> It doesn't look like a lot, and I could scarf it down in three seconds, but instead I make it last. You know, I lick I lick the nut butter off the tiny little demi toss spoon like it's an ice cream cone. Yes, it's best that I eat alone. You wouldn't want to watch me eat. I would probably annoy you. So, so anyway, I want you to have a great day. And tell me, do you do food labels matter to you? Do ingredients matter to you? If you're purchasing something and you think it's same old, same old, do you tip it over? When I saw the ground beef that says natural flavorings, you know what that means. It means it's got horrible things added to it. Chemical flavorings that taste natural. That's scary stuff. Don't mess with my meat. It's enough of what the, the cow ate before I'm getting it. But then you add more to it? Oh, these food manufacturers. So what do I buy most? Um, grass-fed um, and um, and hope they're not too grain-fed and organic and doing the best that we can. I don't have a farm, right? Anyway, have a wonderful day. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Have a grand day, my pickles. Bye-bye for now.